everybody, this is Melody from Eden Wellness and today we are going to be going over peppermint essential oil. Um, this is our second video for our essential oil spotlight and today if you can see I'm, I've got my peppermint essential oil with me today. Um, this is just a Young Living brand, there's a lot of other great brands out there. Um, but yeah, this is obviously very concentrated. Um, a couple safety things when you are using peppermint essential oil, you don't want to be putting it on your finger and then rubbing your eye um, or other sensitive areas because it's going to have a, like a really cooling, burning sensation. And if you use water, it's only going to make it worse. So actually you want to use like a carrier oil or coconut oil or something like that if you get in your eye. Put some coconut oil on your eye and that's going to help um, just soothe that burning and cooling sensation and help um, the essential oil kind of go away faster. Whereas with water, like I said before, it's actually going to make it worse. Um, but peppermint, as you may or may not know, it's a very common herb. It's been around for thousands of years. Um, it's used for so many different things. And the scientific name I have on here, it's mentha um, per Pepperit, if I'm saying it correctly, I'm probably not saying it right. But again, you're gonna see the scientific name on the bottle. So when I look on this bottle, um, I can turn it, and you, I don't know if you can probably can't see it in the video, but it says the name right on here on the bottle, so I know it's legit. And this is a therapeutic grade essential oil that I have. Um, so there's some really great uses for peppermint. Um, it's generally a pretty safe oil as well. Um, most anyone can use it. If you do have more sensitive skin, it's maybe not the best just because it has that cooling sensation on the skin. Um, but again, you can use it. Um, and also for kids, like it can be really strong in that cooling. Um, so you just want to be careful if you're using it with them. Um, but if, here's actually a fun fact about it. Um, sometimes I like to kind of just learn about how they've been used um, many years ago. And peppermint actually in the Bible was used along with um, cumin and anise seed oil. Um, it was actually given as a, as a tithe together with peppermint um, for the Lord. And so I thought that's kind of cool. So it actually kind of shows you how valuable it was in that time of history. Peppermint was very valuable, um, and it obviously is today too. And maybe you've put peppermint leaves in your water before, and that's a great option to kind of freshen it up. Um, but if you have peppermint essential oil, you can dilute it um, and put it on your skin with the carrier oil if you have sore muscles. And we're going to dig into the uses here as well. Um, or you can um, just inhale it for your sinuses if you're congested or stuffed up. It helps kind of open up the airways. Um, if you have a diffuser at home, you can diffuse it as well. And I'm going to jump to some of the uses here. And then I have a study to share with you guys. But one of the biggest things with this oil is it's used for muscle discomfort. Um, so anytime you're working out or you have an injury or something like that, or just a sore, sore back, sore knees, whatever it might be, um, peppermint essential oil is really great for that. It just helps um, relax the muscles, so it also can be great in Epsom salt baths too, um, or foot baths. Um, it helps soothe, you know, any aches and pains that you might have, and it's especially great. Um, I kind of think I have it down here for headache relief, and I think I said in the video um, last week, but you can use lavender and peppermint essential oil both together and rub on the temples in the back of your neck when you have a headache and that can help kind of um, release it and help it to go away or lessen. And then um, as I talked about before, it helps with your respiratory help. So if you're ever sick or finding something or you're just congested or having like a hard time breathing, maybe even in a workout, you're kind of out of breath, you can um, inhale some peppermint essential oil and that's gonna help just open up your airways. Um, and you can just use like a couple, a couple to like maybe four drops and you can rub it on your chest or your back. Um, you can also inhale some while you're sitting in a sauna as well. And that can help kind of just open everything up. Um, and the other cool thing for peppermint, I really like peppermint for um, focus. 
and it's just like energy boosting, really refreshing, keeps you awake. If you're ever feeling sleepy or you're at your desk or you're at work, this is a great one that you can um, put a couple drops in your hand to smell or put in your diffuser, whatever you kind of would like to do. Um, just gives you a quick energy boost, which is great. And then it also helps kind of with the respiratory stuff in your sinuses. It helps with allergies. So if you have allergy symptoms in the spring or the fall, when things um, are growing or have pollen kind of coming off of them, um, peppermint really helps relax those muscles in the nasal passages um, and clear out your sinuses, especially like I said, when there's that pollen kind of out and you maybe have some mucus and stuff going on. Um, but you can diffuse that, you can heal it, um, you can apply it topically like on your neck and your chest if you want. Um, and then we already talked about headache relief, but it also helps with um, digestion. So if you ever have issues with um, bloating or indigestion um, or anything like that, even like nausea, um, even people who have irritable bowel syndrome, peppermint can actually really help and be soothing and cooling. Sometimes the cooling sensation really helps, especially if you like have nausea or people in pregnancy, peppermint is really great because it's really soothing. You can put it in your water, you can rub it right on your abdomen. Um, and same for like gas and bloating, you can take a little bit of peppermint and make sure it's the approved for internal use essential oil. You just want to be careful with that. Don't just take any peppermint essential oil because some of them have chemicals in and you don't want to be using those. So make sure you're using a good quality one. Um, Young Living has some oils called Vitality Oils. Those ones are meant to be taken internally. And so you can put some of that in some water before you eat your meals or while you're eating your meals to help kind of soothe um, those muscles in your digestive tract, help with bloating and gas. So it's really great for that. And then um, the last one is probably a great one, which we are probably really familiar with using is um, gum. Um, so, you know, stuff with toothpaste, gum, mints, all that kind of stuff. A lot of the times what they are doing, they're extracting a property of the peppermint, like menthol or something like that, um, to put in their products of gum, toothpaste, whatever, for like that flavor and freshness. Um, but you can literally make your own mouthwash at home. Um, you can take like a few drops of peppermint. Um, what I like to do, I like to get like some distilled water or we have like reverse osmosis water or you can do spring water. Put it in like a glass mason jar and then put like four drops of peppermint. I like to put like two drops of clove um, and then like a drop of frankincense and I just shake it up and then I just rinse my mouth with it daily. And that can really freshen up your breath. Um, it's really great for your gums especially if you have any like sore gums or like any pain, peppermint can be helpful for that as well. And you can also do coconut oil pulling um, with peppermint essential. You just get a little ball of um, fresh coconut oil that's thick, it won't be melted, but you can grab that and then add just a couple of drops of peppermint essential oil on there and just switch it through your, swish it through your mouth. You're kind of pulling out any bacteria, infections, stuff like that, and then you just spit it into a garbage can when you're done. So that is something that's really easy to do um, and mainly because um, peppermint is really antimicrobial so it's going to really work on that aspect especially in your mouth we have all those different bacteria, and so these are kind of the main uses for peppermint. There's obviously other uses but these are the main ones that you probably will be enjoying um, using and using it for and so yeah, I hope that you learned something new on this video and stay tuned. We're um, going to be doing the essential oil spotlight each week on a different oil. And if there's something new that you've learned about it, feel free to leave a comment and share that with us. And yeah, so thank you for joining us.